right, coming up next, it's a welterweight showdown between Tony Ferguson and Diego Sanchez. seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave. Oh. Didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. He has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And Ferguson, I have to say, absorbing those strikes quite well. Oh! and everything landed. Oh, oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down. Oh, he might be out. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab. Oh, huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. That shot blocked by Sanchez. El Cucu gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Nice job of hiding that hit kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting him. Oh. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh! <laughs> Slips the shot. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt, he's gone! He got him! What a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, one second of the second round. Playing the winner by knockout, Diego Nightmare Well, we congratulate him. It's a welterweight bout between Jorge Masvidal and Anthony Showtime Pettis. in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Real nice body kick land. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. Slips the left hand. Masvidal gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Midway through round one. Big knee there. Oh, huge kick. Punches blocked. Big ball punch land. Now he'll get back to range. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pettis. Oh, how good is that jab by Gabriel? Under two minutes now to go in the round. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Gamebred gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Educated jab there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. But not even just a jab, right? You watch Masvidal throw that jab. His backhand is always perfectly in place. Nothing is wasted. He's not loading up on his strikes. He's just letting it flow. Jorge Masvidal is a very educated boxer, and it's showing in his performance tonight. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. So 
41 total strikes. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stays up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Pettis gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by Jorge Gainbred Mosfino. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, he's hurt. Serve him up. Oh, oh. It's over, it's over. Unbelievable. What a performance. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So they'll see the replay. And probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 27 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Anthony Schultz. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight. the UFC welterweight division matchup. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You think we're getting kickboxing matches either way? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Ooh, what a punch. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Throws the right hand there. A lot of power on display from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Punch over the top. This fight's gonna be over, What a great way of mixing up his attack. 
He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he got him hurt very bad. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Usman's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, he heard a bell in jab. Beautiful straight counter. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Another one, yep. Oh, and the left hand. He blocks the punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good punch lands. Back to the jab now, no good. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Slips the punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head. Oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more fight in the night. So a strong five minutes down. Nice. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! And he continues to work the body here. Oh, straight right! to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 38 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by Young Hal the Nigerian Nightmare, All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. showdown between Leon Edwards and Colby Covington.
ready? You ready? All right, so here we go from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world and the home to the biggest UFC fights right now. From International Fight League to Championship Fight all across the board, you come to T-Mobile. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. These guys throwing early. Oh, that's a big right hand. Oh. Knee to the body. Just a slip there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big punch land. Just misses with the jab. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Big knee lands there. over 20 total strikes have now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Visibly limping here. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick at the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Nice punch lands over the top. Man, how about the crisp boxing and kickboxing of Leon Edwards here tonight? It's amazing how much he has improved since his UFC debut a few years ago and really has established himself as one of the best welterweights in the world. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. We'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Great punch landing so much power. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Tags him with the left. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, misses with the jab. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. These are unofficial, but 61 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. Well, on a pretty good connection rate thus far, hitting on one out of every two, the accuracy rate is 50% against Colby Covington. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. 
No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out. Oh, what a shot to the body. And it's just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 18 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Diego Sanchez and Anthony Showtime Pettis. So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Another punch land. Big leg kick land. Oh, big knee. Oh! Whoa! Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, straight right. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Sanchez. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well placed kick there by Sanchez. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Pettis.
Flush right hand is true. Back and forth we go here. Big punch land. Ooh. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. The right hand just misses. She has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pettis. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he... with these beautiful leg kicks. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, though. man. Vintage Diego Sanchez. Big knee there to the chest. Jab hurt him a little bit. And now he lands a combination. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up to him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Nice great punch. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut. And he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Diego able to check. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round two. Oh, oh, he's to fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Sanchez gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense. Oh, he's out! He's done, he's done! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Diego No shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times he hoped for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Leon Edwards.
watch the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick up fight at Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Beautiful jab there from Leon Edwards. And if you don't know the name Leon Edwards, you're going to start to hear his name increasingly. Truly one of the better fighters in this country. Absolutely. And the reason you don't know his name is because he's more of a quiet guy. He's very reserved. He used to be at AK for months, and you barely knew that Rocky was even there. He was just there to get his work in as he's doing his work now inside the octagon. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, nice combination there by Usman. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice. Glanza, glancing right hand upstairs. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Missed with that attempt. Nice slip and counter there by Usman. And he landed the right hand there. Edwards' is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Got clipped with the right hand. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Effective punch there by Edwards. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. A lot of power on display from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best ball player in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Usman gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Good punch. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Usman. Big power shot there. Just misses with the jab there. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. All right, so 43 total strikes have now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. And the accuracy rate, by the way, for scoring at home, 47% to this point in the fight against Kamaru Usman. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. He's giving him so many different things right now. Oh! Usman gets up. The question beckons, though, for how long. He still looks like he hasn't quite recovered. Just misses there with the left. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat last. That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it. Oh. And just like that, the fight is over. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfect.
perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky Edwards. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. Coming up next, it is a welterweight championship fight between Diego Sanchez and Leon Edwards. as we go in the world. Few can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever, UFC 200. Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon and try to make your mark on the sport. Oh, big hook. That'll leave a mark. Head kick. Edwards gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Effective punch there by Sanchez. Oh. Come on, well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Edwards. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big leg kick lands. Sanchez gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And both guys really throwing with authority. Connects with the right. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. 90 seconds now to go in round one. That knee, that knee hurt. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Beautiful kick. Right up the elbow, fighting the lane. Nice shot by Leon Edwards going to the kicking game now. Certainly earned the respect with his hands, now changes the level. Full on mixed martial arts. Yes. He can do it all. He's a fantastic striker. 
a guy that can mix it up. A guy that knows exactly where the opening is and isn't shy to take that opening. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Round two is next. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the side. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Edwards has got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Liver kick. Beautiful punch. He's, he's limping now. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Edwards. That was a thuddy leg kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to... Sanchez gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. An elbow! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, blocks the shot. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his strike, make rhythm. He has found it here, and as has really picked up the pace in round two. with that jab attempt there. Sanchez gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Right on the button. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. And oh. he comes through with a big knee. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 20 seconds to go round two. As effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. And the horn sounds on round two. Our right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Slips the punch. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh! What a fantastic 
fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, and that is... Coming up next, it's a welterweight championship fight between Diego Sanchez and Leon Edwards. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, champ? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Try to establish that jab. Straight punch lands. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. It's such a fast leg kick. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Just over three minutes to go. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice punch there by Sanchez. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Unable to connect there. Oh, a beautiful jab there from Leon Edwards. And if you don't know the name Leon Edwards, you're going to start to hear his name increasingly. Truly one of the better fighters in this division. Absolutely. And the reason you don't know his name is because he's more of a quiet guy. He's very reserved. He used to be at AKA for... Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice defense there. Huge block. He's up to feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very, very bad. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, big left hand is good. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Nice body. Final seconds of round one. Round two next. So that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. And that one was heavy. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh! He has a turtle in that kick. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards. And as usual, DC, letting his fighting do the talking tonight. Letting his fighting do the talking means it's all business. He's a businessman. He's here to win. Go back. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Sanchez is on his block. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He's 
really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. So 39 total strikes have now landed for Leon Rocky Evans. Well, not the most accurate effort to date, landing with a 28% connection rate thus far against Leon Evans. Man, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He might be out. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice right hand. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Whiff. Oh! Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Great punch. Oh, straight right. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, he's out! Holy smokes! What a fight! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Diego Nightmare all right, so his welterweight greatness continues tonight and still UFC champion. I think on nights like tonight, you're glad you don't fight at 170 pounds. This dude's a problem. I mean, he is a problem for anybody, anybody within the weight area. If he decides to go up, he's a problem at 185. If he decides to go down, he's a problem at 155. He is just that good a fighter. Congratulations to the champ on retaining his title.